What's up YouTube, it's the I'm Marty Drexel, and yes, this is the same gameplay I used my last video, but since most of you guys wanted to see the whole video, I thought I would just upload it again, uh, you know, without cutting out anything, so yeah, the video is pretty long, but I'm going to use this video mainly to talk about a few things, uh, the, the PVR giveaway mainly is, well, not mainly, uh, but I'm going to talk about that first in a sec, and... Then, probably guys, to shoot some shit, uh, get my blade on, get a nice little chill chill commentary going, and uh, just talk about YouTube and Call of Duty in general, and, you know, just the whole, you know, past couple years of what Call of Duty has been on YouTube, and basically just gonna, you know, shoot shit for a little while. But, for the PVR details, uh, the giveaway details, that is. Uh, I'm getting a lot of PMs and comments that are really pissing me off, like fake, you know, shit, saying that the giveaway was fake, and and that's like, I don't know if you guys, you know, some of you have been in a relationship, but uh, that that moment when you know your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever your situation is or whatever you're into is basically saying, you talk to that girl. I know you did. You cheated on me. I know you did. I blah 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 blah. You did this and that with a girl, and you lied to me. Blah blah blah. And you're just like, babe, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I swear to God, I didn't do. I didn't cheat on you. I didn't talk to that girl. I didn't flirt with that girl. You're my girl. That's it. But she's got it in her head that you're lying, or you did what you did, and she's stubborn as fuck, and she's not gonna believe you. So, what you have to do is, you know, figure out a way to make her believe you. And, um, what I'm going to do is, basically, and I think why everyone thinks it's fake is because I didn't release a name. And the reason why I didn't release a name is because, one, I've done giveaways in the past, and I just, you know, I just didn't put didn't put their name like I didn't release the name I didn't want them to get flamed or or whatever and I just thought that's the way I did it and probably the reason why I didn't get any shit like that on those giveaways because you know this is on a much larger scale and a bigger prize is at hand uh, so the guy hasn't contacted me yet uh, I sent him a message um, saying hey dude you won get back to me basically I'm um, paraphrasing of course but he hasn't gotten back to me so I don't know whatever the fuck he's doing but he scratches his balls and not getting back to me so and that's not really fair to you guys or fair to me now because everyone thinks this is fake and that pisses me off because you know it's I don't know I just don't want to be uh, unfairly accused of something like you know my girlfriend thinking I cheated on her. Shit like that. When I truly had good intentions. And, uh, you know, I didn't cheat on her. <laughs> I didn't even talk to her. <laughs> that kind of situation. So, what I'm going to do is hopefully to make everyone happy. And to hopefully help people out even more. Is to put a link um, in the description of this video. And also a annotation with a link to that PVR giveaway and what I have done is the video is unlisted so no more people no more new people besides people who are watching this video can um, or people have already had it favorited or whatever but basically it's so you guys can up your chances of getting picked and all you guys gotta do is leave another comment and it's just basic math guys Putting in another comment in ups your probability of getting picked. I use random.org, select so a comment randomly, and if you have another comment in, it ups your odds. <laughs> Whew. But, so, do that, guys. Do that. Um, give you guys another chance to put in a comment if you haven't already, or just up your odds. And um, I, I think I think that's a good good thing to do if this guy doesn't contact me. Um, if he does contact me, I'll obviously I'll close close the giveaway up you guys update you guys again on this and hopefully put this whole thing behind us. But that's what I'm telling you guys to do. Hopefully you guys do it. 
And if you're gonna, you know, keep thinking I'm, this giveaway was fake and um, whatever, you know, unsubscribe. I don't really care. Come here, watch my videos. Um, if you like them, that's really all I ask. But if you think I'm fake, fuck you. I don't really care. I'm sub. Um, thanks for your time with me. Uh, have a nice life, basically. So, what? What? Uh, I'm done. I'm done with the giveaway. Fuck, fuck talking about the giveaway anymore. We're already five minutes into this video. So let's just uh, shoot some shit. You know, let's just uh, talk about random shit and uh, let's talk about you know YouTube and Call of Duty in uh, general. And I, th I think I'm pretty qualified to talk about the YouTube scene. Uh, definitely as a viewer, uh, not as an uploader so much. I've been uploading videos for a long time, just not on this channel. Just a couple other channels, they've gone stale, and I just started up a new one. One was because I didn't like the name, two was <laughs> um, uh, I did it with a friend, and uh, we, just, uh, we just stopped making videos. We're actually pretty popular, we were a couple, we were directors uh, for a couple community channels, but uh, I don't know, that's just, we just stopped making videos. So I started this one, and uh, so this is where I've been, and this one's been pretty su successful. I you know, I think I got 2,000 subs, 500 views of video. I'll take it. So I'm staying on this one. And so as a viewer, I've been around since, I don't know, let's, oh, just hit my mic. <laughs> I've been around since, uh, I'd say a couple months before, ooh, like I've seen... Like, I wasn't, like, a legit, you know, everyday type of viewer until uh, the end of, to mid to end World at War. I, I had gone and watched several videos, but that was just like a, you know, let's just go check out some Call of Duty 4 videos. But once I got serious into looking at, you know, Call of Duty videos, it was probably uh, mid Call of Duty World at War. You know, back when people were using their dazzles and shit. And, uh... You know, all the famous guys were using their dazzles, blame troops using the dazzle, and God, those were awful. <laughs> and uh, Hutch using the dazzle and all that stuff. But damn, those quality was shit. Uh, <laughs> um, so I, I've watched uh, tons and tons of videos. And, you know, what, what still amazes me to this day is watching... People like C Nanners go from like 10,000 subs to he's almost at a million subs, guys. He's almost at a million. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. And guys like Woody's Gamer Tag, you know, he. I remember watching his dual comms with nobodies, like when he would just do dual comms with everyone. Um, and he. I don't even know how many subs he had, but that was back when, back then when he like really sucked at video games. Um, no offense, Woody, but you weren't that good. Uh, so it, it it amazes me to see you know these guys explode the way they have, and that's because just the way of how Call of Duty has exploded on YouTube and we all hate Modern Warfare 2 we all hate the noob tubes we all hate all that crap but it, it especially bothers me when you know like people like CNanners and all them talk about you know the way how Modern Warfare 2 sucked and all that and and maybe they do realize this they just don't say it out loud but if it wasn't for Modern Warfare 2 Call of Duty on YouTube would not have exploded the way it did at least not as early because say say Black Ops say Black Ops came out the year Modern Warfare 2 came out people would not be watching them people would not be searching up nuke videos and different you know nukes nukes with shotguns only nukes with pistols only nukes with Rafiko only sniper only nuke people wouldn't be looking that stuff up and that's what a lot of people looked up look at um Machinima's most viewed video, maybe not anymore, but it used to be, used to be G-Unit's fake ass nuke. And that's because people were looking up nuke videos, and once people saw it was fake, everyone everyone wanted to see the fakeness, and, and it just exploded, but 
Modern Warfare 2 was such an exciting game to play. It was fast-paced, you know, people want to get better at it. There was a bunch of shit you could do that was just amazing to watch, like nukes and uh, all these sniper 720 quickie fakey sniper montages that, yeah, you could do in COD 4 and, you know, in World at War, but it was just not as entertaining for some reason. Unless, um... And there wasn't really as many people that were doing them. Like, I only remember, like, a few people that used to do COD 4 montages. And that was, uh, one of them was Grizz. And he used this the fucking Dazzle. See, we're back to the Dazzle. And, um, it, Modern Warfare, if it wasn't for Modern Warfare 2, YouTube, Call of Duty Gaming, whatever the fuck you want to call it, would not be as big as it is. I am pretty damn sure... And, it, you know, it's just my opinion. You know, if you want to refute it, go ahead. I'll refute back, and we'll have a nice little gentleman's conversation about it. But I think YouTube, uh, or Modern Warfare 2, is the reason for Call of Duty being such a success on YouTube. And you got to remember all those videos that people put up about YouTube's being gay. That must have helped it. <laughs> and for, for probably for the worst, but it uh it allowed so many people to make money from this stuff like a lot a lot of people are making their are making their you know their livelihood on call of duty videos and that's just crazy uh i know wings does it uh a bunch of people do it that's what they do they play video games for a living and one thing i don't understand is fucking like kids like extras and team art just to name like the big ones they have enough subscribers, they make enough views to where uh, they don't need to go to college. And I'm, I'm, I get both sides of the story. I don't think I don't understand the part of it. But if I was extras in Team Art, I'd be like, Mom, Dad, this, this, you know, YouTube thing is really working out for me. I should not be devoting time to college right now when... I could be making money on YouTube and saving up um, money for my future. Guys, you can always go to college, you know, when you're 30. <laughs> you can go to college whenever. Even even go free when you're 60. Uh, <laughs> but it, I don't know. If I was in their position, I would totally not be going to college. I'd be spending every single waking moment figuring out how to get bigger on YouTube and how to get my brand out there and just figuring it out and that's the jealous part of me but and that's that's another thing is like what, what the fuck was I doing when and I'm sure everyone thinks of that the people that have like 20,000 subscribers we're all thinking like well not we are I'm talking as if I'm wanting them but I'm not some of them got to be saying, fuck, where the fuck was I? Why didn't I buy a PVR, you know, two years ago when this fucking got huge? Maybe I could be sitting in Hutch's seat. Maybe I could be sitting in C Nanner's seat. Maybe I got to have a job at, you know, Mission Respawn. Maybe, just maybe, I could have a huge fucking, you know, subscriber base. And there's a couple minutes left of the gameplay, but... Um, Wings of Redemption said if he started a new channel, he could get back to, maybe not to where he is, but he could be successful. And I'm sorry, but no, dude, you can't. There, I just, even guys like Blame Truth, I, I just don't think that, that they would be, I don't think they would have exploded like they did to be honest and it's not an attack on them i love all of their videos i watch every single one of those guys guys videos they put out i'm just saying this this the call of duty community on youtube is so saturated with with commentators and even people just sticking their camera in front of their tv gives people who spent 200 dollars on a capture card people people who spent you know a thousand dollars on a, you know a good editing computer it takes away from the chance of being seen and it wasn't like that for those guys back then and you know even if they were still using dazzles it was still you know innovative on youtube back then there was like holy shit i'm watching a, a xbox game that was captured 
you know, and that was innovative, and it, it's why they exploded. I don't think guys like that, guys who aren't, you know, basically comedians or have a 20 KD, I don't think you guys would explode, uh, to be honest. And that's not saying anyone who who's trying to get started now, but even I'm, you know, I'm no comedian. I don't have a 20 plus KD. I do this because it's fun, but those guys, I don't think they would have exploded. You know, they might have gotten 20,000 subs, you know, after a year, you know, has gone by, but they would not have 200,000 subs and f almost 500 subs, 500,000 subs for, um, uh, Woody, Woody has, you know, almost 600,000. I forget how many extras has, but Cnares has a million and Jesus Christ. Go back and look at CNN's earlier videos, and they were still good. Don't get me wrong. Those are the videos I would look forward to. But he's a completely different person than he is now. And he's not, like, you know, himself, but the way he presents himself in his commentaries, he comes off as a different type of person. But, and that's just, you know, my opinion on, you know, getting big on YouTube now. Is it possible to get 300,000 subscribers? Uh, no. Not as quickly as it happened for them it's gonna take a lot of uh you know persistence and determination to get to where they are and even close probably guys this gameplay is just about over i think we're gonna get to the part where i almost get the where i almost get the defuser it already happened i don't know i blanked out <laughs> but um that's my opinion that you know that's just it. If you guys want to refute it, go ahead and refute it. I'm always up for discussion in the comments. Guys, leave a comment, like the video. And as always, stay off the streets. Pass on grass. Oh, this is where it's at. This is where it's at. Fuck, watch this. Watch this retardedness. Fuck, so close. Like a millisecond. But, again, stay off the streets. Pass on grass. And don't get your girl pregnant.